sitting in Central Park, occupying many square blocks, wonderful institution, pays no rent to the city for this property, pays no taxes, gets 30 or 40 million dollars a year to help with its expenses, and because of that, under the law, is not allowed to charge admission. They have to allow people in for whatever donation they want to give, which is fair. They're getting so much. How, what has the museum done? I don't know if you can read this. This is the sign. Admissions recommended. How is a person supposed to understand that this allows them to pay anything they want to get in. It's a fraud. It's been going on for years. It's made them millions of dollars. 20, get a load of this. $20 to get in. How about that? One visit to a museum. $20 in New York. Anyway. The answer. I made a, this is a business card that I cannibalized from a site that offers business cards, very cheap. I substituted my language for the business information. I glued a penny, a real penny, to these, made thousands of them, and gave them away in front of the museum so that people would understand that all they had to do was give a penny. And we're going to continue this uh, as soon as the weather gets good. It's a little too cold now to stand in front of the museum. But uh, when springtime comes, we'll be back uh, with this project. That's a small scale project. It obviously is not on the same scale as Darfur or gay marriage and gay rights. Oh, here's a big, a big issue. <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, this has to do with the apparent tendency of religions to use violence. Historically, this is somebody, I think he's being questioned with fire on his feet about something he did wrong, or may have done wrong. It represents the general connection between religious belief and violence. And that's a big problem. And the answer, at least I found what I thought was a clue to the answer, in this kind of a sign that the city puts up to tell people, don't let your dog shit on the sidewalk. Take it to the curb. The curb means the edge. And curb has a double meaning in English. It means control. So this can mean control, control your dog. There's a very easy substitution to a t-shirt that says curb your God. It doesn't, you want your, you want your God? God bless you. Take, keep your God, worship your God, love your God, but don't kill anybody in the name of your God. Don't use violence. That's the rule. Okay, this has been printing in th three times already, and it's uh, getting quite a, uh, a good reputation, I think. It's a respectful uh, request for people who want to have a God to keep that God under control. Incidentally, I brought that's why I was dragging this. This is not my slides. I brought t-shirts to give out and I have a few other things. I have some of those pads, those wish paper pads, and some chess sets in here, and some of those refrigerator magnets with the, you know, the yin-yang refrigerators. But, but, there's a condition. <laughs> The condition is, when I finish, and I'm finishing soon, you have to ask me some questions. I've been sitting here, and I'm just amazed. You're not asking questions. 
I, I want to hear your questions. I want to learn something. I'm, I'm going to learn from the questions that you ask me. I don't care what the question is. If you have it on your mind, I'm interested in it. And I don't care how good your English is. You can use a translator. I don't care what language you're using. But I want questions. And I'm not going to give out anything until I get them. Got it? Okay. Good. 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 All right, we took care of God. Ah! There's other bad things in the world. And this represents something we had very bad in the United States for eight years. Unbelievable that this man, this unqualified, ignorant, arrogant. Well, I'm not going to keep going. We had to get rid of him. That was the bottom line. So that we, the, penny, the penny came in again. By the way, Lincoln, a really great American president, was on the penny. So I put impeach Bush, which means get rid of Bush, on one side, the back side of the penny, Lincoln stayed on the front and just threw them, out, threw them in the streets. So people would either find the penny and see Lincoln, and they'd pick it up, and then they'd get the message on the other side, or they'd see these fluorescent things and maybe be curious and pick it up. So this is using currency to deliver a message, and, the, and since it's a penny a message, there's no way in advertising that anybody can get a message out to the public for a penny a piece. So it's a, it's a big bargain. And there's a happy coincidence that the president, whose name was Bush, fits so beautifully into a, in an expression used in, uh, in America, which is bullshit, which means something that's not true because he used a big piece of bullshit to get America into the war in Iraq, of one of the biggest lies of modern times. So uh, I thought that word is very important. So we, uh, I put Bush it, don't take it anymore. Of course, the beautiful typography and form of this shit is entirely due to the work of Mirko Illich who is a master of this form. I mean typography. Uh, and uh, these were thrown, these were, th this was before the second time Bush was elected. And they were thrown around in the streets and in, at the convention which the Republicans had in New York. Uh, and some people were arrested for Thro throwing shit at the police, according to newspapers. The, the police thought it was shit at first, but it was only cardboard. Cardboard is very useful, corrugated cardboard. All right. I, as I said, I'm not a graphic designer, but I am happy with one thing I did. When uh, Milton Glaser suggested Paradoxy as the name of my company, I felt like doing a logo for Paradoxy. And I had learned from Milton uh, that he sometimes played with typography to express uh, something important. And I thought that since a paradox is some kind of a statement that arouses questions and curiosity and may be contradictory, that this combination of the exclamation point for the assertion and the question mark making a letter P was a, was a nice logo. It was improved by Maria Milkovich, the designer I mentioned before, originally from Novosad, and uh, now that's the logo for Paradoxy Products. And that is the end. I used Google Translate to say it on the bottom. And this is a paradox. It's the end and the beginning. I don't know, we might meet again. That might be another way that this is the beginning. 
or there's all sorts of 